All right, I said uh, earlier uh, that I wasn't going to make a video on the end clutches, and I'm not, but just want to mention this one piece. Uh, John from was IPT Transmissions, uh, I couldn't remember who it was previously, but uh, he had a transmission, whatever, press, which is great if you've got one of those. Most people aren't going to have it because um, what you have to do for this part of it, it's got that little spring that you've got to press down. And if you don't have the right tools, this is a total pain in the rear. So what I did, I've got the bearing race like he did in the video. Um, if you don't have a bearing race that'll fit, sorry, can't do nothing for you there. So you'll have to figure out something, you know, get a oversized socket or cut some notches out or something so you can get to it. Um, you know, but I'm, I'm using the bearing race and really, in all honesty, that probably be the easiest thing to use. I'll go ahead and tell you. <clears throat> has some spare parts from my manual transmission since I blew it up this this one here is the race that I've got if you use one of these bigger ones it may be too far out to the edge here um, and you'll end up messing up the the spring there now what I will say what I did I just had a pry bar like so it's square so it made it easier just to clamp two C clamps one on each side I probably could have used one had it been long enough to get right in the center but when it's not what will happen is you'll have one side pressed down too much, the other side not pressed down enough. When you try and get that C-clamp that's down in there, as you see, you won't be able to get it all the way around. And what will happen is if you try and use just one side and not use two of them, or if it's not big enough to press down in the center equally, you'll end up messing those springs up in there, and then you're in a, you're in a bad way. So um, you don't want to press it down too far to where you uh, mess up those springs. I did it just enough to be able to get that uh, C-clip in there. And what I will say is that I just got some cheap old uh, pliers here. I forget what the name of snap ring pliers. Uh, if you've got a good set, uh, it would definitely help because it was definitely a pain trying to get it in there. You may, even with a good one, you may not have uh, very much luck getting it in there very easily. Um, I, you know, when I put the little plunger in here where he's got his video, I just doused mine in transmission fluid for the seal, but that's not really the purpose of this video. I just want to give you guys a, a heads up on an easy way to get that spring down. If you don't have that tool that he's got, uh, this made it a lot easier and I got it just enough on both sides just to, uh, get that C clamp or the C clip around. And now I'm about to let off on both sides, but just want to give you all that heads up. Hope that helps for you guys that don't have a, uh, a press from a transmission shop because most of y'all don't but anyway continue on i gotta get back to it so y'all have a good one